those who don't want the people to have it because there are miracles in the Holy Ghost. And our resistance to the Holy Spirit isn't anything new. Praise the name of our God. The church in the 400 AD period fell victim to such resistance to the Holy Spirit that was given to the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Prior to that period of the 400 AD, the Holy Spirit had its freedom, even though the Roman Empire tried to take it away. One thing about the Holy Ghost, it's a fire in the heart. It's a fire that burns in the soul. And once you receive it, you won't give it up for nobody. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Once you receive it, you can't live without it. It's something that thrills you, energizes you, sets your soul on fire, turn you around, give you a new perspective, a new direction, a new order of life, organizes your life in a spiritual way that you have never dreamed possible before. Praise the name of God. The Holy Spirit in the age of the church had its freedom. In the age of the apostles, the last of the apostles, or Apostle John, who was killed after he wrote the book of Revelations on the Isle of Patmos, Jesus made it very clear in the writing of the book to the church at Laodicea in the third chapter. He said to the church, at Laodicea and to the seven churches scattered about at Asia Minor. I got something against you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Because you have left your first love. You have lost something. And you have to go back and find what you have lost. What have I lost, Jesus? You have lost your first love. What is that first love? The Holy Ghost. You can't love Jesus the way you ought to until you receive the Holy Ghost. It is impossible to love Jesus Christ with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind without the Holy Ghost. You can't do it. It's the Holy Ghost that shows you who Jesus is. It is the Holy Ghost that reveals to you how wonderful Jesus is. You can't know how good he is until the Holy Ghost come on the inside. When the Holy Ghost comes on the inside, your eyes come open, your ears come open, your heart gets happy. Glory, hallelujah. And you can see Jesus in the true light of his glory and of his majesty and his power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But the age of the church in the 400 AD tells us about the things that they instituted to take place of the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of God. The Holy Ghost was a free moving force up until 400 AD. Even though the Roman Empire tried to destroy it. For 400 years, the Roman Empire tried to destroy the Holy Spirit. And it, 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 they killed thousands and thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of saints trying to get rid of one thing Holy Ghost hallelujah you see if you get rid of the Holy Ghost you can make a sinner out of a preacher praise the Lord hallelujah. as long as the Holy Ghost is in the heart of a preacher he'll be a true preacher praise the Lord 
you take the Holy Ghost out of him, he'd be just another John. Praise the Lord. Just another lover boy. Just another Johnny come late. Just another Casanova. That's why you have so many preacher Casanovas. No Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost helps you to cut out this nonsense of unclean living. The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost turns your life around. Thank you, Jesus. That's why the ministers against the Holy Ghost, they can't sip the four roses no more. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They can't run the numbers anymore. They can't be at the horse tracks anymore. That's why they don't want the Holy Ghost. They want the corner store where you can play a number. They don't want the fountain of life. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. And so they offer their resistance to the Holy Ghost. And they curse out the Holy Ghost. And they say it isn't any good. It's not for us. That's the biggest lie that the devil ever told. The Holy Ghost is for all of God's children. Praise the name of God for every race, white and black, Japanese and Chinese. You name it, the Holy Ghost is for you. Praise the name of God. During this age of the 400 AD, they substituted for the Holy Ghost heathen festive days. The festive days that were used under heathenism were brought into the church. Praise the Lord. And after they brought them into the church, then they started bringing saints in the church cast in images, cast in bus farms and set them on pinnacles and began to adore them and to bow down and to have great adoration for these saints. These saints didn't bring us out of sin. Jesus brought us out. Praise the name of God. They took Mary and made her the Virgin Mary and set her high above Jesus Christ and got on their knees to Mary and said, Hail Mary. That's why the Holy Ghost said, if you gonna worship St. Jude and Mary and St. Thomas, I'm getting out of here. Mm, Lord, because you are to worship God and him only shall thou worship. Thank you, Jesus, sir. You can't substitute Mary for Jesus. You can't substitute St. Thomas for Jesus. If you want to be healed, you're going to have to see Jesus. Yes, sir. If you want to be blessed, you're going to have to see Jesus. If you need a miracle in your life, you need to see Jesus. And Jesus has a Holy Ghost just waiting for you. Thank you, Jesus. One of the greatest problems plaguing the church was the misunderstanding between the Greek and the Latin wing of the church. The Greek wing of the church and the Latin wing of the church argued for years as to who sent the Holy Ghost. One of them said the Father sent it. The other one said the Son sent it. And because of that, in 1051 AD, they split from each other. The Latin church went one way and the Greek church went the other way. 
God or who sent the Holy Ghost. That's stupid. It doesn't matter who said it. The important thing is that it comes. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't matter to me who sends it. What means the most to me is that whoever sent it, I got it. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not going to argue about the father sending it. I'm not going to argue about the son sending it. But I know somebody sent me the Holy Ghost. Mm, Lord. And whoever sent it, I got it. And you need it. And you can't get to heaven without it. Because the Holy Spirit brings miracles. And that's why the demons are fighting it. Because they don't want the miracles to come in the church. But I got news for you, Satan. The miracles are coming. And the devil can't stop it. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You stiff necked, you uncircumcised, you demon of hell. Jesus Christ. 